Tonight we are fostering hope with a success story that is near and dear to my heart. It's about a girl named Knowledge who goes by Nolly. She was just six years old when I first met her. Through the years, we featured her five times trying to find her a forever family. And Nolly was smart all right, never giving up hope it would happen one day. Tonight, it brings me great joy to tell you it finally did. Hug. Out of all of the Zoom interviews I've done over the past 18 months, this one is by far the most special. Oh, I love seeing you surrounded by family. Introduce me to your new family. So these are my cousins. That's my aunt, my sister, and my mother. To understand just how incredible it is to see 14-year-old Nolly with her forever family, you need to know a little about her journey to get here. Hi, nice and straight. We first met Nolly in 2013 when she was just six years old. She had spunk and impressive independence, swiftly climbing up into her wheelchair, no help needed. When we caught up with her a year later, her positivity was as bright as her casts were pink. Born with a genetic disorder that affects her muscles and joints, Nolly had just had surgery to give her more mobility. Oh, the places you'll go? You go lots of places, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. In 2016, we made an urgent plea to help Nolly find a new foster home that was wheelchair accessible. Most of the home has to be tile. <laughs> Because I can't really roll on carpet. She was living in an emergency children's shelter because of a lack of suitable housing. Through the years, we watched Nolly grow up as she shared the same wish again and again to find a forever home. Sometimes I wish and sometimes I pray. The last time we met up in 2018, Nolly was 11 and her faith remained strong that somewhere out there was a forever family perfect for her. A family that goes out a lot and does a bunch of stuff. A very active family. And that's exactly what Nolly has today. Here she is with her brother John, sister Jocelyn, and mom Kathy, the family she'd prayed for for so many years. Is it just as amazing as you thought it would be? Yes. <laughs> worth the wait? It was definitely worth the wait because now I have a really big family. <laughs> Kathy used to be Nolly's caregiver. And Nolly was, has been an inspiration since day one, and she's taught me a lot of things. A lot of things. Um, you know, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible, which for Kathy included taking the steps to make Nolly her daughter. She'd seen our stories and knew Nolly wanted a forever family more than anything else. She's special. We just grew a bond and I wouldn't have it any other way. Nolly says she is so grateful to have Kathy as her mom. Her kindness and the way she cared for me when, when I first met her and like, since then, she's cared for me like as an actual mother. Nolly gets emotional when she thinks about how long she waited for her dream to come true. She also thinks of all the other foster kids still waiting and encourages them to not lose hope. I just want to say to other kids that like, no matter what you look like or how you act or how big your attitude is, there's always going to be someone who you that We'll love you. We'll care for you. Nicole Espinosa was the protective services worker who helped Kathy and Nolly through the adoption process. She says Nolly's patience and positive spirit paid off. When uh, we signed adoptive placement paperwork, Kathy and I and Nolly came home and I asked her, how do you feel? And she's like, well, it's only been 10 years, Nicole. <laughs> and you're, I'm like, you're right, Nolly. And, and it had been a long time, and, but she didn't give up hope. And we didn't give up hope that there was a family out there for her, and, and, and she got the best family. We love you, Nolly. Aww. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy for you, Nolly. Yay! She does have the best family. Congratulations, Nolly. To learn more about becoming a foster or adoptive resource family with the County of San Diego, call 1-877-792-KIDS or visit cbs8.com slash fostering hope. And we still had to do it virtually. Mm -hmm. I was hoping to see her meet her family in person. I think it'll happen one day, but it's just so heartwarming for me to see her go from that six-year-old little girl with so much hope to now a 14-year-old girl with so much hope still. Yeah.
And I, all that hope uh, paid off, it at did. least in one part where she wanted a family and she, she got did. it. And she has a beautiful family. Yes, yes.